Good morning everybody, welcome to my channel, my name's Claire of Buttercup Creations Art. So, check out part one, it is in the description down below, if you haven't already seen it. But this is what we've done so far, this is out of one of the kits that I've got on my um, Etsy shop. And so I've done the front and I've done the back. The list in the description below is part one if you want to check that out if you haven't already seen it. But this is what I have left that I'm going to use for the spine. So this is all the fabric I have left over. So plenty enough <laughs> to do um, some more covers or a picture frame if you want to frame it do a piece but this is what I have left <laughs> so as you can see there's still quite a bit um, of goodies left over and I'm still going still going so yes yeah, so we've got all that fabric left over which is nice and then I'll say that I've cut ready to do the Fine, but this will go on last when I've actually covered the um, journal book and then put the signatures in then this I will glue down but what I want to do is like add some buttons as you do not sure if I'd add that one maybe go there in the center I don't know <laughs> But and then we've got the laces as well. So you could do a cluster roll and create that for the spine. So as you can see, front's done. I've done my little puffs. I've done a smaller puff there. And then I've created the back piece there of doing other little bits and pieces. So I've done a couple of little X's there to hold that down. So I'm just going to do a couple of slow stitches around that one. Um, I've already got this at the ready. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the like so. So how are you all doing? I hope you're doing well. So all I've done is I'm going through that bit and then I'm coming back out where the stitch is and I tend to just bring it through, pull the back bit again so it pulls the needle tight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. So I've got twelve swirls around my needle and I haven't done it tight so I can pull the needle through. And then I just tighten that slowly, keep spinning it so you get a nice little tight balloon stitch like so. And then I just lock it into place there. And then I think I've got enough to do one more. So just up through the door. Oh, that was a bit posh. <laughs> and down through there, Oops, spin that around, make my life easier, Claire. Come back up, and I'm just gonna pull the needle through, pull it the back, tighten that, and then hopefully I've got enough to go around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, there we go. Slide on down. And then she says, pull it up. Don't panic if it all comes loose because you will spin it all the way around. Like so. And then I'm just going to go back in where I was last time to lock it into place. And then I'll tie this one off because I haven't got enough. Like so. Oh, I went to a fete yesterday. A lovely little fete in a place called Sedge Hill. And it's to raise money for the hall. 
And um, oh, some lovely ladies there. Some of them I was in stitches with. Um, but I found some bargains. I found some bargains. I'll quickly show you. So, I found, oh, this hair. And they were doing them at pittance. I think I paid a pound for all these hair. So, I've got that nice big one, which is fabulous. Then these are pretty. So I've got four of those. I think it was a pound for the whole lot she charged me. And then this one, which I absolutely love. Look at that bumblebee. <gasps> Wouldn't that make a really pretty cover? Then a bit of gingham. Can't go wrong with a bit of gingham. So I've got two of those. And then some of these, which have got these beautiful prints on, which would I think would be really nice to actually embroider on. So there's that one, that one, and then that one. Then there's new prints. Then paparazzi handbag. <laughs> I was like, oh, this is cool. <laughs> And what else? I've got that big book. I've got another book downstairs which I'm keeping with my old collection. But I've got a bit of Macbeth. Oh, look at the old pages there. A good book is a precious lifeblood of a master spirit, Milton. I like this. Patricia is that no word lent to G Ridgeway <laughs> lent to Avril Pittman and this book used to be Anne Streets of 1951 I like that 50p a bargain and then there's oh Edith Blyton so I thought it was such pretty pages. Oh. Gorgeous 1965. 50p. <laughs> and then these Christie's catalogues, which I was like, woohoo! These were 50p each as well. So you've got all that in there. And then all the images are, oh, look at those, aren't they stunning? And this, July 1972, and this one is my favourite. And I didn't even realise until I picked it up, got home. So there's another Christie's one, December the 15th, 1972. It's the year I was born, and the month, and the day. <laughs> So, and then it's like all these images as well. Beautiful. Look at that one. Gorgeous. And then, this one here. And it has got some beautiful, beautiful illustrations of gardening through the ages. Let's see if I can find some. They are really like, I mean, look at these images. Perfect. Gorgeous. So, yes. I absolutely love this book. And this was a pound. So, perfect. <laughs> I like these little fates. Summer fates. Especially when it's raising money. And then the best bit about it is the ladies who live around there, they want to do craft days, um, craft clubs. And I got my sister-in-law was there and she's going, oh, Claire's a crafter. And they said, oh, what do you do? And I went, I make journals, no crochet, do a bit of slow stitch. And she went, oh, fabulous. If you can think of anybody else, she said, it would be lovely if we all get together. And each week we bring in a craft that we do for everyone to have a go at. So, 
<laughs> I could become a teacher of junk journals, <laughs> which I'm looking forward to. And then they said that they'd have craft fates. So you could bring all your crafts in and sell them. So, which is even better. So I've decided my plan is I'm going to make um, slow stitch kits like these. And also um, I'm going to make some that sit in picture frames. So that they can, they can either be sold like that or they can get inspiration from the picture frames. And also make cards with slow stitch pieces on. Just like that. <laughs> so that's my mission. So I was like so excited. Because I love doing craft fairs. But the ones around here. Um, when you do get into some of them. They're like really expensive for the pitches. So it was like. Mm, I don't really want to pay a lot of money. And not really do you know even if i made five pound profit it'd be beautiful but it's a lot of money for the pitches but it's like at the big craft show, um big shows so yes there we go and there's that one Perfect. Right, so, and then I'll, in the centre, <coughs> apologies, <coughs> I think I've got a bit of a chest infection coming. Right, I'm just going to do a little French knot. Two, three, four, go back in. And like that perfect right <coughs> apologies right so the next thing I'd like to do so I want to spread the blue around spread the love of blue is I am gonna go what do I want to do next I'm trying to think Run down there. Yes, let's run down there. Right, so I'm just going to carry on with the thread. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the thread itself. So I'm just going to come up below here. I want to try and keep it all in a straight line. She says. And I'm going to go through the last stitch. Just make sure you're keeping the tension sort of loose, not too tight, because otherwise you're fabric will start puckering hot it's supposed to be cooler today and I'm already cooking <laughs> okay oh, I was there last night um busy so in a way and all of a sudden a huge house spider come up the side of the wall and I was like oh 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 what do I do what do I do what do I do I have a fear of spiders I think it's not so bad now um I used to be really really petrified of them I used to get real bad nightmares um paranoid they were on the bed and everything now i think we're having a grandson not with my grandchildren because it used to be just as bad with my children 
um but with my grandson i think i've sort of relaxed a bit <laughs> and it takes me like takes me a while to build up the courage like to go okay okay <laughs> so yes last night i know i'm sorry if i offend anybody who loves spiders but he had to meet his demise well her demise because that was definitely a female because she was the size of a tarantula Yes, I know, one might be exaggerating a bit. Yes, but um, I definitely got a bit of a hot flush on then, trying to um, banish him, her. <laughs> but yes. And the weird thing is, is when I was small, it never bothered me, but it was all because of um, these lads decided I call them tiger spiders because they they always come out this summertime. They have millions and millions of spiders, babies, and then they've got like the brown and yellow stripes. And um, they decided to get one from a hedge and chase me up the road and throw it at me. And um, yeah, ever since then. I've not been a fan. And plus, when I've seen um, people with spider bites, <laughs> <laughs> and the fact that they've got lots of eyes, and it's like they're staring at you. You know, like if they come out in the sitting room and they're on the floor and they like look at you going, I'm going to have you later. <laughs> <laughs> no, please. <laughs> I've done nothing. <laughs> right, let's just do this last bit. Yes, I know, I'm a bit dramatic. <laughs> Someone's got a horn. Right, okay. So, I'm uh, just making sure all the way along that I am keeping stitching loose. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tie this off here. And then... Oh. So when I do cover a book cover I actually dab glue on all the stitching so I know they go nowhere <laughs> let's just take these bits off because they'll drive me potty okay so got that bit and then what I'd like to do is get some more and we're going to do some little stems coming off and then with the cream, this cream, I'm going to do some little French knots coming off of those. Let's see if I can, oh, here we go. Oh, you two. I've lost it. <laughs> it's like, <hot. laughs> oh dear. Right, where are we? Come on, Claire. Oh, there, I'm up there, that's why. Right. Snip. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go at a slight angle. Cross like so. Now I'm in frame, and before I end, I'm just going to come up where that is. Oh, 
and then I'm going to go back down into the same hole and like so. Do it again, side to side. To the side. And then up. How far do I go? There. All right, just try and get it there in the center. Down and back down again. How are we doing on time? Oh, it's only 20 minutes we've been on here. Perfect. Much further to go, guys. <laughs> and I've got to go and put my washing out. Get that all done. Come on, here. Where are you? Get my washing out. Strip Doodle's bed. Get her bed washed today. I think we've got rain coming in the next couple of days. So get the last bit all done, all caught up with. I've got to go to the post office as well today post off bunting that I've made for Anna Banner is on my Facebook page um, for a baby reveal of my new grandbaby on the way baby bean So yeah, I've got to ask to make bunting and um, I've done banners as well and then I use my cry cut to do the image on the banner. So a baby monkey and a baby giraffe. So they'll get that today. Uh, not today, tomorrow. Right, perfect. There, so we've done that so far. And then with the French, well, we're going to do some French knots going up there to create some little pretties. So it looks like flower buds. Right, I'll just have a quick sip of me. drink and we will drop that off like so but before I take the blue off as we don't like to waste it's not it 
and then at the top here I'm just gonna do a couple of little French knots up here Ooh. Don't like waste. Like so. And just oh, I can hear you. No, not right. Okay. So I'm just going to use this in that dot there. Try to use that up. I definitely have to go and have some breakfast in a minute. <laughs> the tummy's starting to do that. You need to feed me now. <laughs> How dare you put craft before your feed? <laughs> oh. Right. That's that done. Let's get rid of that. Right, so, oh, I forgot to say, remember, especially if you don't have a sewing machine, to do all the patches just a run stitch around the edge and then I do on afterwards I've done some there just to show you is a whip stitch and then that stops the fraying or reduces the fraying but I'll do that afterwards when I can sit down in the sitting room and just do little whip stitches wherever it's needed right okay so we're going to have some of the cream Do our little French knots. Little drink in a minute, excuse me. Right, okay. Come up one, two, three, four, back down. One. Okay. 
but as you can see, they're coming along nicely. That's it. You need hair, guys. Right, I need to. I'm gonna do one of there because it's nice to have a little. That oh, what are you doing hiding under there? <laughs> oh. Oh, she said. It's quite too soon, Claire. <clears throat> How are we doing on time? Oh, that's not too bad, three, two minutes. quite a bit Okay, last bit. There we are. So there's that done. And I'm just going to tie it off like so. And we have that. So, um... What I'd like to do as well is maybe add a couple of leaves though, as you do, maybe one there, but what I'll do is I'll do one with you guys so you can see what I do, the rest I'll do off the camera, and then also, where did I that go to, um, I'm going to do a line cream stitches going along there so I'll quickly do no I won't do that with you I'm going to do the leaves and I'm going to do them in should we do it in the cream or the blue should we do it in the blue now I've lost the end <laughs> 
Now I've lost the end. Okay. So definitely keeping along with the blue theme. But if you've got green silk, you can use green silks. Um, whatever colour you fancy. We haven't got a green leaf. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go, she says, there. To that, and then just one more longer. Sorry, but I'm always going to go back into my first stitch, um, where I put my needle through first, come up through the fabric. I'm just going to go down by the side of it, just below that one, and back through there. Sorry if you start hearing a little noise. Back through there, so I'm just going to come below. So. Always come below it. it, makes it go outwards and creates that shape of a leaf. One side, and then I'm going to do the same this side. side and then I'm going to go one more the other side actually two more the other side I think And like so, so you have a beautiful little leaf there. And then what I'll do is I'll do another one that side. I'll do one for there and then one for there. And then I'll do some white running stitches along there. So on the next video, you'll see actually on a cover of a journal, um, just so you can have a look and I must probably do some cream stitches going around there to hold that in place. Um, so I really hope you enjoyed this and see what you can use out of the journal kits and to use with scrap fabrics what you've got at home um, to make a little bit of a difference of a journal cover. I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting everybody. Take care. See you on the next video. Bye.